And Mike Steele, Communications Director for the Louisiana Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, joins me now for more on this. Mike, I know you're busy, so thanks for coming on. Where are you seeing the most you extensive bet. damage uh, right now? Well, one of the interesting things about this is it pretty much impacted the entire state. Uh, oddly enough, we were kind of spared uh, any major problems around the Baton Rouge region, but everything started obviously uh, Tuesday evening in the Shreveport area in the northwest corner, and there are pockets of problems uh, literally from that point all the way through the southeast corner of the state. So some of the um, assessment work and those type things are really kind of getting ramped up today because uh, uh, you know, obviously there were so so much, uh, so many problems popping up yesterday that none of that could begin. So today, our local emergency managers, um, our state fire marshals, the Louisiana State Police, the Louisiana National Guard, a lot of different teams are trying to help the uh, the local emergency managers impacted by this event kind of begin that process. Now, about 10,000 customers are reportedly without power in Louisiana. Do you have any idea of when they can expect to have that power restored? I know it's moving quickly. At, at the peak point, uh, we had about 50,000 people without power. So the numbers already made a pretty significant drop. Uh, we have some pretty nice weather pretty much statewide uh, today. So we expect those crews to be out. Uh, you know, with our first responders and our utility companies and, and different uh you know, agencies around the state, there's a lot of just muscle memory type things because we we do unfortunately face so many uh, weather related events. So they usually ramp up that, that activity very quickly and even call in for outside support if needed. Uh, I know our power was out last night when, when uh, I got to leave the office, it was out at our house, but it was back on within about an hour and a half. So, uh, you know, we're seeing pretty good movement there. So what resources is the state making available to help those most affected by these storms? Well, after Hurricane Ida, we had a uh, uh, sort of a pilot program that FEMA allowed us to do. It actually involved the use of travel trailers in order to help with some sheltering needs. Uh, and, and it was separate from FEMA's traditional uh, MHU or, or FEMA trailer program. It was something that the state was able to operate and they were able to move these RVs in relatively quickly. So we still have some of those that are being decommissioned from these past events. And we're actually gonna use a few of those to help uh, some of the people around the state. What we need the public to understand is some of this recovery process takes a minute. You know, some of these areas, again, are still kind of picking up the pieces. They don't know exactly uh, to what extent the damage may be at this point. So we have to wait for a lot of that information to come in. Once that information's in, we can work with those local uh, officials to determine kind of the best recovery path. Uh, we are asking everyone impacted by the event to report their damage at damage.la.gov. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, there will be any uh, government assistance available, but we need to capture all that information in order to see, you know, what may be available at some point. So we're asking everyone to go to damage.la.gov, report their damage, and then we'll compile that information uh, to see where we go forward. All right, Mike Steele, we appreciate your time today. Wishing you a speedy recovery from all of this. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.